The Profile module is a very popular Drupal module because you're able to set up custom profile fields. This module comes by default for Drupal version 5.1. You only have to activate this module by going to the Administrator section. Just beneath Site Building there's a link Modules. You click on that link and you click on the checkbox for Profiles. And then you activate this module and you will see a new link at the User Management which says Profiles. You click on Profiles and here we go. I got two custom profile fields which I already set up. You can set up different kind of profile fields. I'm going to click on the gender profile field and I will edit it. You see I chose a category which is user info, then the title, gender, a form name, profile, gender, and then I got there a select list which is female or male. The user has to select one of the above. And then this profile field will show up during the user registration and the user must enter a value. When a new user enters the registration form he will see the custom profile fields at the top which means the account information, username and the email address will come beneath my custom profile field. In this case I don't want it. I want that the account information is above my custom profile fields. So how do I do it? This is very easy. We have to edit the, the profile module which is located on your web server at the, mo at the modules and you will have to download the module profile module. After you have downloaded the profile module you will edit it with your favorite editor. You will just have to copy this code w equals zero. Okay, I have this. You can find this at Drupal org not one one nine two seven one. Okay, after you have copied the w equals zero, you will have to look at you will have to look for it. Okay, here we go. Here it is. The only thing what you have to do is delete the zero and replace it with a one. Copy it and upload it to your web server again. I'm going to upload it right now with my favorite FTP upload program. Okay. I'm going to replace the existing profile module. And here you see the folders. It's just at modules and then you will see here the profile folder which is right here. Okay. Now I'm going to reload the current page by pushing F5. Okay, and now you see when a new user registers, he will see the username and the email address on top of the user info and and this is just what I wanted okay let's check out a user
I'm clicking at Administrator, User Management, Users. And now I will choose one user, let's say the last one, and look at his profile. I don't like the design of the profile, I want to change that. And there is an easy way. The website is Drupal.org, not 89817. And there is a C CSS config file which I'm going to use. I'm just going to copy that CSS file and I'm going to add this code to the CSS file. I'm opening up my FTP client. I'm going to click on the folder themes. At the moment I'm using the Garland theme and I see here the style.css file. I'm downloading it. Now I'm going to open it with my notepad and at the bottom I'm just going to add the code I, I copied I'm going to paste it, I'm going to save the file and upload the new file to the Garland theme. I'm going to click on OK for overriding the old file. OK, that's done. And now let's see how the new user profile is going to look like. I'm pushing F5 for reloading the page. And let's see what's happening. Okay, I like this a lot better than the old design.